In today's video, we are going to evaluate integral 0 to 1 dx by root over 1 minus x power 4. And this topic is from beta and gamma functions. So, we'll use the properties of beta as well as gamma functions. And in order to solve this, so we have a substitution here. So, we have to put x square is equal to sine theta. And now x will become root over sine theta. And now dx value is equal to on deriving. So root x is equal to this is 1 by 2 root x. 2 root sine theta. And again for sine theta this will be cos theta into d theta. And dx value is nothing but cos theta d theta by 2 root of sine theta. So this is our x square value and this is dx value so if i substitute all these in this integral then see what happens here so integral 0 to 1 so dx by root over 1 minus x power 4 value is equal to so here our substitution is x square is equal to sine theta so here x is equal to 0 if i put 0 here then 0 is equal to sin theta and our theta value is also again 0. And if I keep x is equal to 1, so 1 is equal to sin theta and our theta value is 90 degrees. So in our transformation, x is equal to 0. So in place of x is equal to 0, we have to keep theta is equal to 0. And in place of x is equal to 1, so we have to keep theta is equal to, this is pi by 2. And next, what is the value of dx? dx is nothing but this is cos theta d theta by 2 root. This is sin theta divided by root over 1 minus x square. What is x square here? x square is sin theta and x power 4 is nothing but sin square theta. So in this substitution here, this is 0 to pi by 2. This is cos theta d theta by 2 root over this is a sin theta and root over 1 minus sin square theta is nothing but cos theta. So as you know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So cos square theta is equal to 1 minus a sin square theta and cos theta is equal to root over 1 minus a sin square theta. So here in place of 1 minus sin square theta I can write as cos theta. Now I can easily cancel this one. So this will be half times of 0 to pi by 2 d theta by root over sin theta. So if I bring sin theta to the numerator and this is going to become sin power this is minus half theta into d theta. So what is the integral here this is 0 to 1. This is dx pi root over 1 minus x power 4 value remind like this. Now we are going to use an another formula here. So which formula I am going to bring is integral 0 to pi by 2. This is sine power 2m minus 1 theta into cos power 2n minus 1 theta into d theta is nothing but half times of beta of mn. So using this formula. So, if I compare with this, so here if you observe carefully, then in place of uh, 2m minus 1, so we have minus half. In place of 2n minus 1, we have 0 here. So, if I compare 2m minus 1 is equal to minus half and 2n minus 1 is equal to 0. And what is our m value here? So, m value will be, so 2m is equal to 1 minus half. And 2m is equal to this is plus half and m value is 1 by 4. And see here 2n is equal to 1 and n value is equal to half. Now I have to substitute in this formula that is half times of beta of mn. So here our question becomes that is integral 0 to 1 dx by root over 1 minus x power 4 can be written as already there is half here this is half times of this is 0 to pi by 2 sine power minus half into d theta so if i substitute in this formula so this will be half times of half into beta of mn so this is the formula so what is the value of m so m is nothing but 1 by 4 and n is equal to half so this is going to become 
so m is equal to 1 by 4 and n is equal to this value is half now i am going to use an important relation between so what is that important relation between beta and gamma functions beta of m comma m is equal to this is gamma m into gamma n by gamma of m plus n so if i substitute here this will be gamma of 1 by 4 into gamma of half by gamma of 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 and this is going to become 1 by 4 times of this value is nothing but gamma 1 by 4 and the gamma half its most important property or problem which I made a video on this gamma half is equal to root pi and here so if I take 4 as LCM this is 2 plus 1 this is 3 and see here this value is nothing but root pi by 4 times of this is gamma of 1 by 4 into gamma of 3 by 4. So, this is the value. So, which we got after the substitution. So, this is nothing but integral 0 to 1 dx by root over 1 minus x, x power 4 value is like this. See here, once again, there is an important substitution on this. x square is equal to sine theta. On substituting and bringing these properties of beta function as well as uh, gamma functions, we can solve. And there is another most, most important problem. So, we have to evaluate. This is also so simple. And we have to evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 root cot theta. So, this can be written as 0 to pi by 2. What is cot theta? Cot theta is nothing but cos theta by sin theta into d theta. Now, this is going to become root uh, cot theta by root. This is sin theta into d theta. Now, this can be written as a 0 to pi by 2. This is going to become sin power minus half theta into cos power plus half theta into d theta. Now, I am going to use an important formula on this that is integral 0 to pi. So, this is the formula. Sin power, this is 2m minus 1 theta into cos 2n minus 1 theta into d theta is nothing but half times of beta of mn. Now, in place of 2m minus 1, we have minus half and in place of 2n minus 1, we have plus half. So, if I compare with this, 2m minus 1 is equal to minus half and 2n minus 1 is equal to plus half. So, 2m is equal to 1 minus half, 2m is equal to this is half and m value is nothing but 1 by 4. 2n is equal to this is 1 plus half, 2n is equal to this is 3 by 2 and n value is 3 by 4. So, this is our n value and this is our m value and I am going to substitute in this. So, here, so what is the question here? 0 to pi by 2. This is a sine power minus half theta into cos power plus half theta into d theta is equal to half times of beta of mn. So, which is equal to half times of beta of 1 by 4 comma 3 by 4 and we have an important relation so we have an important relation that beta of mn value is equal to this is gamma m into gamma n by this is gamma of m plus n so this value is nothing but half times of gamma of 1 by 4 into gamma of 3 by 4 by gamma of 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 so this is 1 by 2 times of this is gamma power 1 by 4 this is gamma 3 by 4 and if i add this gamma of 4 by 4 which is equal to 1 as we have a property that gamma 1 value is again 1 so if i substitute all these here so if i substitute so, this value will become, so this is going to become half times of gamma of half. This can be written as, and there is an another formula. So, which formula it is? N minus 1. So, gamma N is nothing but N minus 1 or 1 minus N. So, this can be written as, gamma of 3 by 4 can be written as 1 minus 
3 by 4. 4 minus 3 by 2. So this is uh, 1 minus 1. 4 minus 1, this is 3. 3 by 4 by gamma of 1. So as you know that there is an another formula that gamma n. So this is 1 minus a factorial. So this is uh, gamma n into gamma of uh, n minus 1 is nothing but gamma of n into gamma of uh, n is nothing but pi times of gamma of n pi n pi so if i substitute here so this will be half times of gamma 1 is again gamma gamma n into gamma of n minus 1 is pi by sin n so what is the value of n here so this is 1 by 4 into pi so half times of pi into this is pi by 4 is nothing but 45 degrees and sin 40 sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and this is going to become so root 2 by pi and uh, 2 can be written as this is root 2 into root 2 so if i cancel the value here is pi by root 2 and this is the value for the most important problem that is 0 to pi by 2 root this is cos theta into d theta value is nothing but pi by root 2. So, let me explain you once again. So, cot theta can be written as cos by sin and this can be written as sin power minus half theta cos power minus half theta and if we compare with this formula. So, n value is 1 by 4, m value, n value is 3 by 4. So, if I substitute here and we have an important relation. So, if I keep it in the important relation, then this comes and as we know that according to this property gamma 1 is equal to so here i read gamma 1 is again 1 and using this property that is gamma n into gamma of n minus 1 so here n minus 1 so 1 by 4 minus 1 this is 3 by 4 um, so this is gamma n into 1 minus n i think so here it is 1 minus n so this is pi by sin n pi and using this 3 by 4 can be written as, see here, 3 by 4 can be written as 1 minus 1 by 4. So, 1 minus n, gamma n into gamma of 1 minus n can be written as pi by sin pi. And in place of n, we have 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 is nothing but 45 degrees. So, this is 1 by root 2. And we got the answer as pi by root 2. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. So, definitely you will get and it will be very, very easy. And here is a, a few properties which we you have to use it. And if you practice, it will be very easy. Thank you so much and share it with your friends if you really like and subscribe to this channel.